The ACT tests a lot of algebra. And if you're like most people, then you hate algebra. Algebra is confusing, it's time consuming, and a lot of times you get the questions wrong. So we developed a technique that helps you take all that messy high school algebra and turn it into elementary school arithmetic. It's called plugging in. This question is a perfect example of plugging in. And I know that plugging in is an option right away because I look at these answer choices and I see variables. That's the clue that plugging in is an option. Whenever you see variables in the answer choices, think about plugging in. Let's read the question. It says, Bill is twice as old as Ross, and Peggy is one-third as old as Bill. If Ross is R years old, then in terms of R, how old is Peggy? So I could try to do all the algebraic manipulations, but we said plugging in is an option, so let's come up with some numbers. It says that Bill is twice as old as Ross, and Peggy is one-third as old as Bill. So I'm doubling and I'm kind of taking a third of something. I want good numbers here. Let's say Bill is six. That's something that's twice something else and something I can take a third of. If Bill is six and Ross is half of that, then how old is Ross? Ross would have to be three because Bill is twice as old. The question also says, okay, Peggy is one-third as old as Bill. So what's one-third of Bill's age? Well, one-third of six is two. So what I've done is I've taken these hypothetical ages, or ages in terms of R, and I assign them numbers. Now, what's the question asking for? It says, okay, if Ross is R years old, well, that would make Ross equal to three. So I'll say R equals three. Then in terms of R, and in terms of is kind of like a meaningless, meaningless expression for us, so I'm just gonna cross that out. Then how old is Peggy? Well, Peggy, we said, is just two. So that's the answer to the question. And the answer to the question is what we call the target number. It's the number I'm looking for. So what I'm gonna do now is this. I'm gonna look for two, knowing that R is three. And I'm gonna go through all five answer choices. So I start with that first one. It says R over six. That would be three over six. Is three over six the same thing as two? Well, no, so this can't be right. Then I try the next one, three over three. Is that two? No, that's one. Then I try two times three divided by five. That's six over five, that's not right. I try the next one, two times three over three. In fact, that is two, so I'm gonna leave this answer choice, and then I'll go to the last one here. Five times three over six. That is not two. So the correct answer to this question is J. So when you're using plugging in, it's really important to pick good numbers. Things like two, five, and 10. Numbers that make the math easy. But be careful about numbers that make the math too easy. Things like zero and one can make all the answer choices the same and kind of mess up the math. And as you go through any ACT math section, just remember, whenever you see variables in the answer choices, plugging in is a really good option.